33 years, I gave that to the game. 33 mil, I say that for the rain. 500 weeks, I fill the charts with my pain. 500 mil and I fall back in the six. Finally give you the space you need to exist. Michael Jackson, but the palace is not for kids. Still women saying it's childish the way we live. Brought a few W's to the six. Baby mama flew, but I love her for who she is. Baby Wayne and Ted's responsible for this. Half the time I question my consciousness in this. Other times I question if compliments are legit. Full time I'm out here confident as a. Trying to make good on the promises that I give. Trying to make sure my accomplices are legit. Register the business in my brother's name. 3,500 in a pocket that should cover things. Certified lover man, trapping out the motherland. Always move right, so my watch is on the other hand. She could try and play it down now, but she was a fan. People want to know what's in my pockets, they don't understand. My assistant always finding them rubber bands. Know my mom might not want to hear how I discover plans. Word to Sandra Graham, no one love you like your mother can. I watch Michael Google win a million off a couple hands. I decide what to see next, like it's on demand. I decide what to be next, like I'm switching plans. I'm going to tell you what you feel next. Like the weatherman I will split heads and break necks for my little man Six God praying hands like I'm a religious man But I'm just a sicker man, wicked man Look, we can argue back and forth, but who's a richer man? Isn't that what matters in this world that we living in? Bang nose giving in, snakes stay slithering How you plan to make it to the top by just fitting in? How you plan to take a spot by just giving in? How you gonna treat it like you gonna get to live again? How you getting hype off one hit, do that shit again? How you got a manager you met after you got the win? Bet you got some that'll love you to the bitter end. Bet you got somebody that's just smarter than your other friends. Give them a percent and see what happens to your blessings then. You just need to stay close to your people that was there when others could have been, that when others should have been. Got a staring at the game like coach put them in. But you never listen, so you going wood again. Got us in the crib talking about when could have been, should have been. And I got your girl on the second floor begging me to put it in And it's not because all of the money that you wouldn't spend And it's not because I set it up to try and get revenge It's because you is insecure, you ain't made men It's because even though you hate on me, we stay friends It's because you never learn when to say when Okay, I'm reloaded when Emory Jones was catching a bad charge I knew less about chess and mom All about power and Escobar Thinking I was the last one All I would lay his blessings on I was trying not to end up like Tony in the restaurant Now we're trending with a GT on me When don't kill us, make us stronger That's me, G on me Hot boy like a VG, that VG on me We done dumped them fed charges Now we eating coffee Left me Said she That your trip ain't gon' work Don't get your luggage on me You ain't keep the same energy For the DuPont technologies We was in your cotton pills Now we singing on peace For real Facts Yo, hello, I want to welcome everybody to the Stay Vintage Tuned Industry Live Stream. My name is DJ Rip, and I also would like to welcome DJ Wiz and Sister Cypher. Yo, yo, what up, world? What's going on? Cypher, how you doing? Coolin, what's up, gentlemen? How are y'all feeling? Y'all chill once again. Finish That's what's popping. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, we thank everybody that's logged in today. We have an incredible show lined up. Um, DJ Spinderella will be here. Cash from Innovator. Of course, we're going to keep up with our grind report. And we have the R&B crooner, Keith Robinson, and one of my favorites from back in the day, Little G from Silk. So I'm super excited. It's going to be an amazing show, no doubt. Yes, so is. for all you that don't know, Vintage Tunes are this one, these two wonderful gentlemen on um, the screen right now, DJ Rip and DJ Wiz. And they are not only DJs, but they're also producers. Can you tell us about the song that you just played, um, When to Say When remix with Drake and Jay-Z? Absolutely, Wiz, would you like to? Uh, you can go ahead. I mean, you know, I spoke, we spoke last week on, a, you know, no doubt. So uh, so th this particular remix, so, you know, Drake, 
he leaked a few records, uh, you know, from his uh, last or most recent album. And a few of these were singles, a few of them were not. But we decided to go ahead and take, you know, a few of these Drake records and, uh, you know, and do some remixes. You know, we remixed Tussie Slide, of course, with Fabo. And, you know, we did a little Michael Jackson flip and it was dope. But for this particular record, um, Drake, you know, he rhymed over some original Jay-Z, you know, uh, samples originally. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to flip it again and give it a vintage sound and give it one of the Jay-Z's first records that he, you know, released, Dead Presidents. So and we take that original sample and then we flipped it with Drake and then we added a Jay-Z verse and, uh, you know, just made it, you know, something magical. And we kind of just wanted to, you know, uh, grab that same vibe that Jay gave us when he first came out and with what Drake was trying to do with this particular record and, uh, you know, just create some magic. So, uh, you know, that's what we did. And uh, that's you know, what it we was Super dope. I love, I love Dead Presidents from back in the day. So that definitely was a nice way to throw it back. Tell us what's going on with the Tussie Slide remix. Um, for all of you that don't know, it has been on the radio playing. It's the Tussie Slide remix with Drake featuring um, Fabo. Can you tell me where it's at right now? Because you guys are bubbling and it looks like more and more radio stations are picking it up. Talk to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, uh, I don't know exactly where it is on the countdown, and, and, and Wiz can speak a little bit, you know, more on that. I know it go it bounces on the countdown as far as on a uh, V103 in Atlanta really? from one to two to three, um, but it's still in heavy rotation in Atlanta. Multiple radio stations, multiple stations across the country, um, in the Carolinas, you know, uh, you know, all over Georgia, you know, Texas, you know, on the west. So it, it's doing really well. And uh, we thank God, and and you know it's it's doing good. It's a dope record, and it's sustaining. And Fabo's on it; he did his thing. And uh, it's a Michael Jackson sample. It's Drake. It's just a it's a win win. You know, it's doing very well, and the DJs are loving it. So thank all the DJs, program directors, and everybody who is supporting that uh, that Drake Vintage Tunes remix featuring Fabo Tussie Slide. No For doubt. all the DJs that don't have the record yet, tell us how they can get it. Oh, uh, well, you can go to VintageTunes.com and uh, get at us on that, you know what I'm saying? Or you can email VintageTunes at gmail.com for your request. We'll be on the mailing list, and we'll get you all the exclusive hot remixes ASAP. Thanks for sharing. All right, Liz, so tell us who's up next. So, um, so I want to, you know, I, I want to welcome um, a very dope individual a very legendary DJ. Um, she's incredible. I've had the, uh, the pleasure to work with her in the past. So, uh, you know, uh, she's an icon. She's done amazing things for the hip hop culture, for the female DJ, for the DJ culture period, not just female, but for everybody. I've had, you know, an amazing experience to work with her. We've worked together a lot. So I would like to welcome to the State Vintage Tune Industry live stream the legendary DJ Spinderella. Hey. What's going on, mama? Cut your camera and your mic on. Spin, you there? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Spin, what's happening? OK, hold on. I'm going to start my video, guys. Hold on. <laughs> We see you. I was, <laughs> I'm right here, but I don't know if I can, if you guys can see me. We, we can, can see you. you. Okay, good. I can't see me, but I see you guys. So there you go. So Spinderella. What up? Thank you for joining us. This is the Stay Vintage Tuned Industry Live Stream. And uh, you know, myself, DJ Wiz, and Sister Cypher, we want to thank you for coming on. Um, you're a legendary DJ. You're an incredible female, incredible woman, an icon for the hip hop culture. And I just want to thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you like the Foxy Brown of female DJs. <laughs> <laughs> the Cleopatra Jones. Oh, she liked that. Pam Greer. You know, oh, that's right. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, a compliment. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, so 
so sweet. listen, DJ Spinderella, um, I was introduced to your music when I was a little girl in Saudi Arabia. And wow. it was crazy because one of our teachers, he was one of the only African-American teachers there. Mm. And he had this huge party at his house mm. and they just played your records over and over again. And it was so, you know, for a place that's so repressed, you guys were so liberating to us in every way. So oh. it is so nice to, um, to meet you and thank you for coming on. Yeah. And I guess, what are you up to now? I know that you have your red wine mix. Can you tell us about that? Um, well, it's just, you know, with this whole quarantine um, situation, it was just something that I, I think a collective of DJs all felt the same way. We all felt the same way we needed to um, release and we needed to do what, what we do. And that is put our um, capes on and, and entertain. I think we had an opportunity to change moods and, and to really help soothe people with music. And that's just, that's exactly what I did. I am a lover of um, soothing sounds. I'm a, I'm a lover of wine and I felt like I wanted to share that. <laughs> and so um, putting that out there, people started to attach to it. And I just, I said, I just do it every week. Wonderful. So for all of you out there who have not been able to check it out, it is um, on Instagram live at 10 p.m. Central Time on Fridays. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I do. And Friday. they can just jump on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started doing it on um, um, Facebook. But, you know, with all of the stuff going on with um, the music and the licensing and all that, I kind of just adhered to uh, Instagram, which is They've been having some issues, but for the most part, they get, they, you know, they show me love. So um, I, I've stayed there. Dope. I have a question. Um, you've been a DJ for how many years now? Probably all your life. <laughs> right. So what are you um, most proud of? What are you most proud of in your... I'm most proud of the DJ culture itself. I love to see the women. I love to see where we came from as women um, in, in uh, DJs, of course. And I think to, to know that there were so many women that have gained, um, you know, just a promising uh, career with DJing and a lot would, would say that they have been um, inspired by me um, to do what they do and do it successfully makes me very proud. That's really dope. Where would you like to see, what else would you like to see happen with female DJs? I mean, do you feel like they have reached um, what they've been looking for as far as being recognized and no, no. no. Nah. So what, what is the fight now and what do we well, need to do know, to we're, we're even playing friends. field? Hip hop itself, you know, everybody in, that takes part in it, that has a brick to lay in it, is a brand that can um, expand and, and, and expound on. And I feel like female DJs is, we're respected. We're a respected um, breed of the DJ. And I definitely feel like we can definitely expound on it, but um, I'm, I'm proud of it regardless of it. But yeah, more producing, more entrepreneurs, more business owners, more, um, you know, branding itself and expanding. What advice, what would be one piece of advice that you would give to a female DJ right now coming up? And also your daughter is a DJ. Can you tell us yeah. about, about when she started and, and when you knew she had an ear and you got to mentor her? Well, she was, she, I, I kind of had to, you know, introduce it to her. I remember she was 16 and we did a sweet 16 party for her. And I, that's when I really showed her the, the ropes, but she'd been around it, you know, all her life. So um, been around tables, been around vinyl, been around like just the whole, um, the whole thing of it. And she went to college and started DJing in her college, you know, like doing the parties and stuff. So um, she just, you know, tech, took it a step further. But what I would say to other females that are doing it, you know, really, I still get a lot of um, women that, uh, you know, realize that when they get in it, they don't get the respect, you know what I'm saying, that they want. And it's 
more, it definitely is always a fight for us as women, but you know, I, I always say create your brand, expound on it, produce, um, be a hot, a, be a commodity, be so, and, and, and develop artists and develop and put out music um, that you love. Um, don't just play music, but put out music that you love. So I feel like um, that would definitely open doors for them. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Wiz, I know you wanted to share a special moment from your past with um, DJ Spinderella. Yeah, 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 the female DJ was definitely, you know, on the rise and at the forefront, no question. You know what I'm saying? And um, I actually got a story to share with you just on how influential uh, you was to me as well as, you know, an array of DJs, but uh, kind of you in particular. So you remember the Push It video? Uh-huh. <laughs> video. <laughs> you there? Hey, huh? You do. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah, nothing crazy. I was definitely there though. So you remember uh it was it was in Orlando, right? At the fairground. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it was uh it was y'all, it was Dana, because I met you and Clark Kent at the same time. His long head ass. I met Clark Kent and you. And um, <laughs> it was y'all, Dana Dane, and it was an open to act, right? And the opening act had a, a, a kid DJ. Do you remember the little kid DJ that the opening act had? Oh my God, no, that was, was that you? Yeah, that was me. Get out, Wait, get was, out. We was, we was, um, you know, we was down with Ricky Walker and them. That's who did the show. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So that push -up video was an actual show. It wasn't just a video. It was a um, it was a performance of a tour. You know, we we toured together. Dame Dane, Salt and Pepper. I'm not sure if Heavy D was there. Um, yeah. Hi. Big cost. <laughs> but yeah. So you were the kid DJ there? Oh my God! I'm old. I am officially old. I mean, yeah. You know, I am. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it's like, you know, we, we was all there in the, in the beginning stage, you know, and it was, you know, it was crazy. Though. It was, I think that's when y'all, was that when y'all first got the jackets, like that whole, the, uh, yeah, the jackets, you know, all, the, the, all that. Yes. I just got them made, right? We just got them made, um, and we were showing them off. Yes. Boy, we were <laughs> showing them. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. They put the barricade down, like, because y'all was the headliner. So, it, yeah, it was just y'all, Dana Dane, and us, and they broke the barricade down. Like, they broke in to get in. Like, it was crazy. They had to stop the concert. They uh, did? Wiz, what did it, how old were you exactly? Go oh, ahead and tell it. And what did that feel like? Like, what did it feel like being on the stage with them? Uh, well, I wasn't on exactly with them, but uh, we was all, I mean, of course, all on the same stage, but I mean, it was crazy. Like the energy was, was, <laughs> was crazy. Cause I mean, that push it was like the, that was like the biggest song in the world at that time. You know what I'm saying? So with them coming with the video and it being live, like it was, it was crazy. And I remember they went through the whole show, like the show was flawless, right? So, <laughs> Y'all had the energy boy. Oh, you remember that, right, man? The show was I, You just brought back a very interesting memory for me because I forgot that that was actually a show. It wasn't just a video. It was a show. And I remember being in Orlando. Um, I, it's this vague parts I remember. It, but yeah, that was... And, and I had just started with them. So I probably, um, I probably had been with them a few weeks at that point. So, and we were tightening up. But yeah, Push It was like, a live wire at the time. But that's interesting that you were a kid. Yeah, yeah. Watching. Yep, standing on crates, destroying. Enemy, <laughs> 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 so, cool. all that came out, the the, uh, the bass, how low can you go, how low? I was killing it. And um, <laughs> nah, but but y'all had the flawless set. And then when it got to the, they got to do push it. And Herbert was like, all right, we're gonna shoot this live. And you know, we just going, you know, go. Oh my God, yeah. It went all the way to the very, the literally the very last end. And one of them dancers, I think, dude with the gold hair, he came around there and did something in the needle joint. Yes. 
I used to be like, cause you know, we played records at that time. So, right, right. And, they, and you know how live they were. They were just, I mean, everything was a, a, a just a Learned. spectacular show or whatever. Yeah. yeah. We, we had that a lot. A lot of jumping on the stage. All a lot that. of jumping of needles back then. <laughs> Your face like, no, we didn't. No. <laughs> yeah, I was like. That's dope. But that, but that, what, you know, people would not really understand if you, you know, were not back then, you will not get, when we played vinyl, right? how delicate it was how delicate it was for us so you know digital the digital era you know technology has taken us into a place that many will, will not even um get that point but yeah if you were at a show and then the needle jumped back then it was like ah oh, damn and right. then we just start the record over again you know those damn dancers right here we yeah. go <laughs> All right. the time. but they was dope though like it wasn't like they tried to do it but the energy was just so crazy that was a part of the show right as a dj it was a part of the show so i definitely got it a lot because my group were um into the the performance side of things so it was always that um but yeah it made it hard but it definitely made it real yeah it did it did. But those were the days, though. That's yeah. a great story, Wiz. That's a great story. Yes, ma'am. I could, couldn't wait to see you again to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he was talking about when he was like, we're going to do Spinderella. I got to tell her this story. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. But well, good. Spinderella, thank you so much for coming on the Stay Vintage Tune live stream. You are still right. a vision of beauty and talent and strength and thank you for keeping the culture timeless thank, thank you. you i appreciate it so, thank you guys so have spin, a great night so spin, so spin before you go okay I just, I just wanted to tell you again salute to you thank you for uh being more than just a dj you are a turntablist you are an artist a rapper you know everything that you can imagine producer you made your own music you know, uh, and I got the opportunity to, you know, salute you and honor you at the Global Spin Awards. So yeah. thank you for doing all you do and just keep it up for the DJ culture and for hip hop. Thank you. I'm always standing for it, y'all. This is the culture that we were building, man. And it'll, that'll never stop. Always in my heart. And I appreciate you guys for having me. No question. No question. Thanks, Rip. Always a pleasure. But yo, before you get up out of here, you gotta we gotta we got something we gotta drop on you to, to, to get you to get on that red wine, something we think will be real. Okay, cool. go ahead. Please let everybody know where they can get at you, any merch, any anything that you're selling or, or need the people to get at, please let Yeah, them. I mean I'm I'm on all the platforms under DJ Spinderella. Um I got merch and all that. I just be doing me. Guys, check me out. I'm 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 also um a part of the True School DJs, and we go on every Thursday night. That's Ninth Wonders Crew. Okay. Um, we go on every Thursday night, and um, I'm still out there doing my thing. So yeah, look me up, DJ Spinderella, on all the platforms. What up, Gary? Silk in the motherfucking house. Oh my god. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I won't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ain't got you ain't got to go nowhere. Okay. Yeah. So, so we got a couple. We got a vintage tunes that we want to play for you. Something that you could play on your uh, your red wine mix. You're on the mailing list. So uh, so there it is. I need it. I need that. No. So we're gonna we're gonna hit you right quick with it. Let us know. You know. What, 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 no what remix. Um. We're gonna get a crack of lacking for you just like this right here. Okay. <laughs>
out here playing they ball. That secret garden. That's right. That's right. Okay, because every time I heard it, I was like, "Shit, I know this." <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. That's a vintage tunes remix, Rowdy Rich, featuring Lil I Wayne. It. I like it. I love that song anyway. So um, that's a that's a, a real nice mix to it. Remix to it. And I will make sure you're on our mailing list. But I will make sure that you have all the remixes that you need for your red wine mix. Thank I you. appreciate it. That's a vibe right there. Thank you, babe. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. So let's go ahead and uh, get about on. Now. Let, let's move on with the show. I want to thank you again, Spin, for coming on. Salute to you. And uh, you ain't got to go nowhere. So let's go ahead and let's let's move on. I want to shout out to Cash Man from Innovator. He's not going to be able to make the show, but any DJs uh, that need any music, go to Innovator.com. Incredible record pool. Uh, shout out to Cashman. He is one of our partners. So let's move forward. Let's go ahead and get into the grind report. When it comes to grind, where you at? Going on. I'm right here. I'm right here. Out on the streets today. Today we got a crazy sale on stickers. Any anything you want to get out and get your hustle going on and get your promo, your street promo, the old school way. We got stickers on sale for the next 24 hours and posters. That's pretty much it for the grind report. Back to you. <laughs> Keep it sweet, simple. No <laughs> news is good news. <laughs> hey, I'm, about buy, I'm about to buy some of your product tonight, though, so I'll be looking out for it. No doubt, no doubt. Well, thank you, Kev. The Grind Report. Any, any, anything promo? You know, marketing, merch, T-shirts, stickers. Wake Hustle Grind. The Grind Report. That's where we're at. And 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 also, you know, you want to look for any vintage tunes? You know, merchandise. You can go to the Vint Shop and go to Vintage Tunes. Oh. 
Facebook.com for any of the remixes, anything that we got going on, no question about it. So let's go ahead and move forward. Let's go ahead and get to the next artist. So uh, our next guest, that is, um, our next guest is an absolute uh, incredible actor. He is uh, an incredible songwriter, incredible singer. He's been in multiple movies. He's been in Dream Girls, uh, Open. Um, and and uh, I know Wiz can chime in a little bit because I'm probably not doing this gentleman any just do, but um, I want to welcome to- Hold on, because he's not in yet. So oh. we're waiting on, you know, he's on West Coast time. So we're waiting on him to um, tap in any second now. Okay, so do we want to move on? Um, we can or we- Why don't we play one of his songs? We can do that. We actually, we absolutely can do that. Okay, so who I was introducing was Keith Robinson. Incredible, incredible singer, songwriter, and actor. We've done uh, multiple records with him, uh, remixes and whatnot. And uh, uh, without further ado, Wiz, give us a dope Keith Robinson record. Robinson is in the building. What's good? What's good? I came in right on time, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. What's good? So I want to I want to thank you for uh, joining the Stay Vintage Tuned Industry Live Stream. Um, again, what I was saying about you earlier is you're uh, you're an amazing songwriter, an amazing sure. artist, amazing actor, and we want to thank you and welcome you to the live stream. Thank you. Word up. What's up, Lil G? 
What's up, baby? Hey, you DJ Wiz, what's good, man? Good to see you, bro. You too, man. No doubt. Hey, man, it's, it's so great to see both of y'all in here. You know, man, y'all are sight for sore eyes, and y'all voices is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Missing it, yeah. man. So definitely, we appreciate y'all being on, man. Spin, just everybody, we just appreciate the love and support, man. Uh, sure. You know, that we've been getting. So, Keith, what's going on, man? You look like you, like you's uh, preparing for a new role or something, man. I'm out here on these quarantine push-ups, man. <laughs> Drinking this sea moss, trying to stay sane. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, finish the album though. West Coast, man, with everything going on with the, you know, all the, you know, the uprising. Yeah. You know, what's the, give us an update on, on how it's looking out there. I mean, it's, you know, people involved, man. It's, 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 uh, it's energy. You know, I call it energy. It's a much needed energy. Uh, I think a lot of artists, I think the sound, the people are really, from a creative standpoint, I think the sound is getting serious and people are really putting their art and their craft to use. So it's a good time, man. It feel like, if it was probably like this in the 60s, you know what I'm saying, during the whole, the what's going on so I think a lot of great a great stuff is going to happen out of this this whole thing with the protests and then we just we trying to get rid of this quarantine so we can get out here in these streets and really start you know what I'm saying getting in front of the people yeah for real man for real yeah I'm a dude, man. so I heard that you're saying that you're finishing up your album did you yeah. do that um do you have some songs and they're inspired by the times they are you know what I'm, I'm I was I thought I thought I was done with the album <sighs> And then all of a sudden, uh, everything started happening. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to basically uh, kind of revamp it. So I, I think the songs are kind of. It seems like a, a new one is coming every week. So I'm, I, I think I'm done. We're, we're probably 85 percent of the way done. But uh, I'm trying to keep the top off because you know things keep. Art, life is is informing the art. So we try we're trying to keep the process as organic as possible. No doubt. Are you working with a lot of songwriters, or is it mostly um, songs written by you? You know what? Usually, it's a majority of uh, a majority of it is me. I usually collaborate with a, a two or three other songwriters. Right now, I'm collaborating uh, with a, a young songwriter named Chris Lee, who's real dope. He was actually on Songland. Uh, he won Songland. He did a song for Boys to Men. Um, acoustic. I just got through. I'm in the studio with him as we speak. We're coming up with some great material. But a lot of times, from a writing standpoint, it's usually mostly me. But I collab, you know, with one or two other writers. So this is kind of the same process. So my son is um, eight years old, and I told him that I was going to talk to the Green Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and he freaked out. Can you believe that they're still watching that role that you did back in the day? Isn't that dope? Man, yeah, it's a phenomenon. Kids, I don't know what it is, but kids and Power Rangers, they are, they are kin. They're related. So, yeah, it's a phenomenon for sure. Easy, man. So Keith, for, 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 for the viewers watching and everybody who kind of been under a rock, you know, for the for the past whatever years in, in film and TV, man, kind of give a, 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 a just a slim rundown on some of the projects, you know, your more notable ones that uh, people may know you for. Uh, I mean, movie wise, you know, it's Dreamgirls and this Christmas and Fat Albert and um, uh, Dear John, All Eyes on Me, um, Get On Up. I uh, just did a movie called Open. TV movie, which you was at. Um, I'm on a TV show right now called Saints and Sinners. You know, I've been at, I've been, I've been acting about 20 years. Power Rangers, as a matter of fact, was my very first role, uh, which was exactly 20 years ago. So, I've been around for a minute. Wow. So, how would feel when, when it's 20 years ago, and Sykes just said what she said today, and hit, <laughs> and hit a kid freak out? How does that feel? I think it's awesome, man. I think it's awesome because. You don't really realize how much of an impact it has on our kids, but it seems like they they grow up with it. So to have a project like that is cool. So it's like I can always relate to the kids. I always say the kids either wanna uh, they wanna run up to me and, and, and fight me or they run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you still me got the moves? <laughs> um, a little bit, but I don't, I don't kick as high. <laughs> <laughs> you don't kick as high. Yo. Definitely, you know, one, one second, y'all. Project and all that, man. Uh, we just got in the house. You know, we were trying to wait for you to get on. But, uh, you know, we, we had to uh, just keep the vibe going, man. Uh, tell us how the vibe been on Happy, you know, how the DJs, how everybody been, you know, kind of responding to you on that. Before we the response has been dope, man. I mean, uh, shout out to y'all, man. I think the combo works. I mean, I mean, we were going through a lot of versions. We picked that one, one some with some edge. I mean, it kind of makes you feel good because it's that, it's that 90s R&B. It's that... 
it's that biggie that uptown sound you know that that jodeci look so you never go wrong with that so it feels like it feels like it feels like 90s but it's but it's current so i think that's what kind of works with djs because it's something that you can vibe to uh melodically from an r&b standpoint but the beat is still knocking so it's a good look we gotta keep this ball rolling you, you already know man so speaking of keeping it rolling on roll to this next joint, man. Let them know a little bit about this next release that, that we're about to get into, man. This is this is love language. We call it the guava mix. It's good for the, good for the antioxidants. Put you in a good mood under the sun. The original is, is called Love Language. Uh, I did it for a movie called Open on BT, which just aired about a month ago. And uh, of course, I flipped uh, y'all flipped y'all flipped the vibe. So it's summertime. It's something to take the top off to. So we uh we, we right we went across the water with it. So let's play it. No doubt. So we're going to get into like a little like snip of it because we still, you know, getting the type yeah. to release real soon and, and have something yeah, yeah. for the people, man. So again, right. just again, before we're going to it, Keith. We'll say what now? Introduce it uh, one more time before we, before we jump it off for the people. This is Love Language, the Guava Mix. Vintage Tunes. <laughs> Sir. And that was riding love and language <laughs> by Keith Robinson, the Wawa mix with vintage <laughs> tunes. That was dope. That was riding, y'all. I love you from it. The islands, man. You from the island? <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> the, the final remix is gonna be even doper. So just wait. Yeah. It's gonna be incredible. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So a Wawa yeah, yeah. mix and the final mix. I ain't spin, what you think? I'm feeling it. Is that red wine worthy? Yeah, yeah. that's it, that red wine ready. I like that first one too. Yeah, well that's- Put that in my email, please. <laughs> I got, I got- mm -hmm. What else, Ben? No doubt. Yeah, all that. So that's yeah, indeed. so that's the love language. We got a special treat with that uh, sometime speaking next week, man. That's just a little snippet of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, got the boy Ellie Shine on there. We got some other surprise, but we definitely gonna keep it, you know, real, real vintage tune. Robinson, like you feel me? Yes, yeah, sir. So, Keith, what you got coming up, man? I know you you come to the city soon, man. Let the people know, you know, your 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 upcoming stuff, man, and how everybody can get at you and and all that good stuff. Man, we got season five of Saints and Sinners, man. We about to pop it off in Atlanta in a little while, so everybody's excited about that. Okay, time to get back to work on that, man. Um. Like I said, I'm finishing up the album Love Episodic 2. So I'm coming down there to finish it off in the A, like 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 we supposed to. And um, another movie called The Green and Grass Experiment, which I did myself, uh, wrote and directed. I'll be finishing up too. So we got a couple things in the pipeline we excited to release, man. So 
look out for key sings. Everything on uh, social media is key sings. One word. That's my Twitter. That's my IG. Hit me up, and I'll holler back. No doubt, man. Good move, man. Good move. Uh, salute to you, man. The song, everything you're doing, man. What up? Show definitely gonna have you back once you come back to the city, man. And uh, you know, a lot of more exclusive stuff. All right, people. Thanks for having me, man. I'll talk to y'all soon. That's a good spin. Definitely. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Keith, thank you. All right, brother. In a minute. So let's let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and talk to another, another, another legendary. We got so many legends on the call, it's amazing. Let's talk to another legendary. Huh? Leave it. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk to another legend, legendary singer, songwriter, multi, multi till I die, multi, multi-platinum artist, incredible singer, lead singer for the legendary group Silk. I want to welcome to the state vintage tune industry live stream, Lil G from Silk. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> Incredible. It's a pleasure to be here, man. I, I really appreciate all the accolades you're giving me, bro. I, I love that. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll have Wiz recorded and we can put it on the intro for the next album. Don't even worry about it. There we go. <laughs> there we, go. we got you. <laughs> it is necessary, bro. Yeah, G, you know, we got to get we got to get the roses while y'all still here, man. So we, we believe in that wholeheartedly you know what i'm saying thank you y'all this is a great platform y'all really appreciate man appreciate this you know the state vintage tune uh industry live stream man keeping the culture timeless that's our whole thing is keeping the culture timeless mm -hmm. you know what i mean yes, sir. so what's good with you man what's 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 up with you what's up with the boys what's what, what's good in, in g and silk world man yeah man this covid virus and, and all of this everything else that's going on in our world today is is keeping us uh, uh, creative, I tell you that much. <laughs> That's right. That's a good thing. He's doing, man. A lot of different ideas, and it's getting us more, you know, involved in media, you know, social media, because, you know, some of us older artists, we need to do a lot better, you know, <laughs> as far as that goes. But, you know, it's, it's enabling us to do it. And, um, you know, I'm recording, you know, a new album, uh, G7, No Parole, and uh, okay. Super new music as well you know and we're looking to get back out here to these cities you know so we can do our thing on the stage in front of everybody you know like we normally do you know and spread love but you know we're gonna find different means to do it you know and keep it going while we can you know and uh it's just a, it's a lot lot going on and a lot of preparation things like that and uh it's gonna be good it's gonna be good no doubt, man. We can, we definitely can't wait to hear, man. I know the ladies. I mean, Scythe can attest to that. I know the ladies are definitely ready to, you know, to hear it and then some. Oh yeah, we gotta get. Well, is hey, hey, is it is the album is the album similar to stuff that you've done in the past, or is it a completely different vibe? Uh, the Silk record or my solo record? Uh, the the Silk well both. Record. Okay, the Silk record, we're, of course, you know, we're going to give you our same vein, but, you know, we're going to add a different twist to it. You know, we're going we're gonna to keep it like it is, keep our core, you know, and bring in the youngsters, you know, but we're not going to go straight down to the youngsters, you know what I mean? Because people want to hear Silk is Silk, you know, the true R&B. So it's coming. And, uh, Little so you're going to keep it sexy. We know that much. Yes, we're going to keep it sexy. We're going to keep it uh, 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 mysterious. You know, you know, we know we know how to say what we want to say without coming straight out and saying it. Yes. We know how to finesse it and caress it, you know, like we would give you a nice massage. Oh. <laughs> so, G, do you feel like it's time now? for good R&B to come back? Is the timing perfect? I know we need it. How do you feel? It's the perfect time. It's the perfect time our ladies need to hear all of the great things that we as men think about them. Yes, sir. How we used to do it. 
you know, I always say four play instead of one play. So we're bringing that back. You know, we need to let the ladies know that they are beautiful and that they are not only sex objects, but they are sexy and beautiful, not only physically, but mentally as well. We need to learn how to get into the 95% of uh, sexual activity being the brain. So we make love to the brains and also physically too, you know, that's a good part, but you know, that's what we're, that's what we're all about. And uh, I'm the same way, of course, on my project, you know, I'm bringing out some more entities as far as me being a musician, you know, and uh, you'll get to hear more of my writing and more of my producing skills on that as well, you know, with some other fire producers and other fire writers as well, you know, so. Can I ask are you a question, G? Yes, darling. First of all, I just want to say I we did we did a show not too long ago where I hosted and you guys headlined. It was like incredible and it was good to see you. How is it? So you're going to do an album with um, the group and and your solo album. How do you manage to do both? And how does the group feel about that? Uh, we're all supporting each other. You know, John John is actually working on a solo project as well. You know, we look at it like this. If New Edition can pull it off, because they got like five, six different entities, <laughs> you know, within right. their group, you know, we can we can do it too, you know, and uh, everybody can, you know, get their rocks off in the industry and say what they got to say. But then when we come together. Come together. Yeah. It's all That's about. good. Yeah. We gotta some, get some, some groups can't do that. <laughs> right. Some right. groups don't feel that way, but it's good to see that you guys can do that. And that's like longevity right there, I think. That's the key. Mm-hmm. You know what, Spin, who do you think would be a good versus with Silk? A good versus with Silk? Ooh. Um, I would have I would have said Joe to see. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. I would have said Joe to see. Um, because, you know, I just feel like there's another group there that can, it can be done with too. But I, that's probably what, what comes to mind for me. Problem is, is they all breaking up. I know, it's so crazy. Uh, so crazy, so much good music and so many acts, you know, um, just so people know, it's it's a lot, you know, when you're, when you have these characters all um, that have developed and, 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 you know, age comes into it and experience and growth comes into it. And then you just try to keep that and meld it. It's really, it's not easy for some. Yeah. It's not easy for some, but it's good to see that, that, that Silk is still doing it. And you guys were killing it when I was there. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and keep, keep giving the DJs records to play too. Give us ballads for the ladies, but give us songs for the DJs too, and you'll win. Thank you. Yeah, give us beat appellas. Beat appellas. <laughs> okay, I got you. No question. I think I might have some more in my life. Extend, extended beat appellas with some chords in it. Okay. You are CG. I'll tell you that for the DJs, man. Yep. And look. More female DJs than, than, than ever now, so y'all audience is really through the roof with the DJs. Yes, sir. And vintage, and vintage tunes can help you with that. Very lovely, no doubt. Hey. Yeah, we locked in. We got some real heat to send G, man. But G, this it's time to get into your joint, man. Let's uh we're gonna get into this first one, my baby. Let them let them know what's going on with this my baby joint. All right. This song, my baby, uh was written and produced by myself and uh J Hot, J Hot uh, Productions, and uh, it's praising a woman. That's my baby, my baby girl, and uh, I want y'all to get into it. It's got a little hump to it, but it's it's still sexy. You know, it's gonna give you a sort of like a Midwest kind of feel mixed with some old Southern style. So I want y'all to check it out, my baby. Ooh. You know, 
sometimes I pride in getting our way, you know what I'm saying? Baby, I just want to let you know, I see you, I feel you. You're really for real yeah, yeah. I can not believe my own eyes How many times, baby, I made you cry But you're still right here with me Through the good and bad times Through the songs with sad rhymes Girl, through heaven and hell Time laughing remains. Ooh, that's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. Oh, oh. my baby girl. Ooh, my baby girl. That's my baby. My baby. That's my baby. Oh, 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 oh. I forever love, forever love you. Definitely, I'm definitely going to get mine in a second. Spend where yours at? Where's my what? My wine? Yeah. That. What you, what you want? What you need? She's professional with it, son. Ready? <laughs> Back the game you want to. <laughs> yeah, G. That that song is dope, man. I mean, yo, man, y'all, y'all sound. How many albums do y'all have, man? The, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. 
five, six. Yeah, we <laughs> five apples. And we got a greatest hit. Yeah. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. The greatest hit. That's cool that y'all got it, but it ain't time. It's nowhere near time for that with y'all yet. Nope. Like, well, that was. A, I'm sure that was a label thing. That, yeah, that it's nowhere near time with, with y'all, man. Like y'all got it's so much more in y'all. It's 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 ridiculous, man. And that sound is just so it's missing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really, 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 really missing. Everybody from this King of R&B stuff and that, and you know, I noticed y'all ain't really chime. You know, a few of y'all ain't really chime in that could have, you know, blew the whistle on some things. But you know, it's a whole new generation, man. That you know, the youngest they feel like they got it. You know, the boy Chris Brown got it in the chokehold right now. Came front. Woo. He, he, he got around. he got the new R and B in the chokehold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know that shit too. That shit dope too. Boy, he got him guidance, all that. You know, and we did the remix too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, everything that's on that is on me. Boy, yeah. you that was the reason why I asked earlier. Did you think, uh, G, that it was time? Because it's definitely time. And that we need that sound on the radio and everywhere. It's incredible. It's incredible. We need and, it. And just so you know, YouTube is on fire right now. We've got all types of people hinted up saying, I love this. Love it. It's dope. By the way, you have seven albums, not five. I mean, it's on. Everyone's just saying fire, fire. So, um, yeah. Yeah. People are loving it. Thank you so much, man. Oh. Hashtag G7, no parole. All right. That's <laughs> all good, man. So let's get into this other one, uh, G2. Uh, uh, let, let them know a little bit about that, man. Okay, like we used to, uh, um, that was produced by uh, Wiley Morris. You know, he's responsible for a lot of Charlie Wilson's hits and things like that, and his writer team. Mm -hmm. And um, this song says simply, we don't talk like we used to. We don't kiss like we used to. We don't love like we used to. We don't trust like we used to. We don't pray like we used to. We don't play like we used to. We don't date like we used to. We don't lay like we used to. We don't even pray like we used to. Damn, that's messed up. Wow. Love, love is gone. <laughs> you know, the love is gone. Gotta, gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship is it? Right. I want it back. So I'm trying to get it back. You know what I'm saying? Because the love is gone in friendships, whatever kind of ship it is, you know, people are not into it like we used to be in the old day, you know, because there's too much, too much going on and too much in the distractions, yeah. too much noise, yes. you know, yeah. boy, too much noise. We need silence, <laughs> silence. And let's get back to the love. <laughs> back to the love, yeah. right? Like we used to. Lord knows we need the love. <laughs> I think Stevie Wonder said it best. Love's in me, love, love to do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't delay, then yours in right away. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we got Like we going through the motions, making love with no emotion. It's like we roomies in the same crib, but this ain't where your heart lives. It's nothing like it used to be. Now your friends don't even know me. Oh, I was raised in our own house. Please tell me what it's all about. Is there someone else? Like we used to, we don't get it like we used to. 
Glasses, glasses. Yeah. Can, can, can we get a red wine uh, rating here, critique? <laughs> you already know I'm in the mood now. I'm gonna have to go in a minute because you just put me in the mood. G, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely, um, um, you You got a couple of joints right there that is, is spin worthy for sure. And, um, and it's, it's incredible that you can still keep belting that stuff out, man. And, and I appreciate that you can still do that, man. Give us good music so that as DJs, we got something good to play too. Okay. That, that put me in the mood. So with that said. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all, I got mad respect for y'all. So for y'all to approve my message, I am forever grateful. Thank y'all so much, man. Uh, this means a lot. So I have a question, little G. Why, why you can't get mac and cheese? with all the girls on keto diets or something? Low carb? What, what's happening? You you can't get no Southern cooking? What, what, is that like normal, fellas? Y'all ain't nobody cooking for y'all? You no more fried chicken, mac and cheese, no? Oh, I'm on fried chicken and mac and cheese every, every other day, so. You know you lying, because so you be on those zoodles. <laughs> the zucchini noodles, zoodles. Ooh. Well, you know, I think COVID brought about, you know, uh, a whole nother situation because everybody is being really weight conscious now, you know, and trying to keep them, you know, because everybody's stuck in the house, you know, so everybody's trying to do it as close to right as possible. But, you know, I sneak it in. Hey, if I don't get it, I cook it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That's what's popping. Well, um, we are so honored to have interviewed all of the legends here. Thank you so much, DJ Spinderella. Thank you. Keith Robinson isn't here anymore, but thanks to you. And of course, little G, thank you so much. This has been an amazing, amazing treat. Um, 
Yeah, you had me naughty way before I should have been, little G, straight up. I don't, I don't even think I understood half of what I was listening to. But, um, it, you know, it's with new appreciation now. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for listening to the Vintage Tuned Lime Stream. Is there um, anything we should be looking for right now um, just as far as supporting you? I know for sure when you come to the ATL, you got to let us know because we got to come to that concert. But how else can we support you in your art right now? Okay. Well, used to is on all the platforms uh, like we used to is on all the platforms. And uh, we're getting uh, my baby ready for it and some other stuff. Like I'm working on another song right now that's called <coughs> Blindfold. So anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to play that one for y'all. But anyway, um, yeah, and uh, on my social media, uh, my IG is at Gary Lil G, and uh, my Facebook is Gary Lil G Jenkins. Twitter is Gary Jenkins. So it's only popping. Let's keep it rolling. And a uh, new website forthcoming. How, how, do you, how do you spell it, G? Uh, how do you spell the, the website, the correct spelling for the website? No, it's a new website. It's getting ready to. It's coming. I thought you said it's called forthcoming. Okay, cool, cool. No doubt. <laughs> no, no doubt. Yeah. Man, we definitely, uh, you said that used to. That's that's like the latest uh, solo drink you put out? Mm hmm Yeah. It's out on all platforms. It okay. um it would stayed at number two on the independent soul charts for three straight weeks. So that means we got to nice. mix it and get it back on the charts and in rotation. Yes, sir. So that means that acapella, we need to see that uh, within the next 24 to 48 hours, sir. It's coming. Yes. So Remix. Free, I'm talking about, man, we're going to sauce it up. <laughs> okay. Okay, bet. I'm waiting. I can't wait. Yeah, man. Like I said, you know, we, we, we definitely got to give, you know, the greats and the legends, you know, the roses while y'all still here. You know what I'm saying? And the world is so crazy right now. Everybody's so just... You know, here today, gone tomorrow. So we want to make sure they don't forget what what matters. You dig what I'm saying? Exactly. And y'all definitely matter in in so many ways. It's crazy. Just telling people that we was having y'all on the show and leading up to it. They was like, Oh, yo, what? Oh, I'm I'm on, I'm on, I'm tuning in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, the love that 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 y'all got is definitely overwhelming. You know, spin is definitely. You definitely should be on your female DJ Khaled right about now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For, for real. So, I mean, is it some kind of recording, something coming in the project? I, I do have some things. I just haven't put them out yet. No doubt. So I just haven't put them out. I actually do. Um, I produced a few things, but I'm not, I haven't put them out yet. But I think I should. Yes. We think so too, please. I think I should. Absolutely. Yes, we think you should too. And you let, <laughs> us, know, you let us know when you're ready and we got you. I, I would. I, I'm. I'm happy about that, Rip. I'm gonna talk to you about it. Please believe it. I'm sure you could be a a, a, a help for me in yeah, getting it out. Yeah, you already know. You know I got you. Always have. It. It's all love. Great. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you. So, 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 Wiz, just decipher before we get out of here. Any last words? Well, let's definitely let everybody know who's gonna be here next. Next week. Well, well let, let's do um, this. Let's do Wiz, this can you do that for me? Because I don't have a list. I remember. Uh -huh. well, let's, 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 do, let's do this cipher. Let's keep that a little, you know, we'll, we'll make the announcement. All right. Got you. I got, got you. Okay. All right. I got you. All we say is definitely going to be Masa. Masha to Masha. Masha. Yaka? Yeah, for all, the, for all our island and, uh, you know, reggae lovers, you might want to tune in. No question. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all y'all look at uh, look at the marketing and all that, man. Make sure y'all get that wake hustle grind. Get that hustle. Uh, let them know, man. Let the people know where they can get at y'all at, uh, boys. Hey, man. It's your boy, Big Hustle, man. Powered by Big Hustle. You can catch me at Big Hustle underscore. You know what I mean? I always remember, in order to enjoy the best life ever, one must be powered by Big Hustle. <laughs> Okay. Check it out, wakehustlegrind.com. You can log on. You can get anything from web design, media, social media marketing, street team, and we work with Vintage Tunes to make sure everything is A1 out in the streets. Tap in. Absolutely. So I want to thank everybody who came on the call. 
one last time. Spinderella, thank you. Thank you for being on the, the live stream. Keith Robinson, thank you for being on the live stream. It was incredible. Lil G, my man, thank you. Thank you for the music. Thank you for everything that you do for R&B. Thank all of the legends and everybody that's been on the call. Wake Hustle Grind, Big Hustle, Innovator.com. Uh, any merch, anything that you want to see from the Vintage Tunes, go to theventshop.com. You can pick up merch and uh, any remix. You need some of them Spinderella shirts. Yeah, get them to us. We got you. Let's yeah. make it happen. We need them in the store for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll get you some. We need, Why you need you? them on me. I got you. Oh, I got I'm you too, babe. Why you playing? I got you too, babe. I'm going to hook you up. Need them Spinderella wine glasses. Yes, and my <laughs> yes. wine, and my wine. Hey, hey, and, and I think Wake Hustle can uh, can make that happen. He's on the call right now. He's on he's on the show right now. Oh. Really, really. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's glass is empty. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, what does that say? What does that say? Is that G. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I need my glass to say Cinderella, and I need my wine to be in my glass. Wake Hustle, you can help me with that. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> so, man, it's yo, yo. We go ahead, Wiz. I'm sorry. Go ahead. As, as we signed off, man, you know we got to we got to get a homie love one more time, man. That thing felt so good. When we talking about this wine. So it's, it's only right, man. Let's let, let's get this little G jumping one more time, man. Used to. Let's go. Everybody out there, get some good in your drink. Get some good in the air. Let's vibe out. Real grown and sexy, man. See y'all next week. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 Like we going through the motions Making love with no emotion It's like we roomies in the same crib But this ain't where your heart lives It's nothing like it used to be Now your friends don't even know me I was raised in our own house Please tell me what it's all about Is there someone else
say, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, If you're going through the motion, let me hear you say, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, If you won't take it no more, yeah, you say, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. If you wanna make it work, let me hear you say, 